What's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and uh, yesterday Microsoft released new builds for mobile and as well for desktops but for mobile the, the new build doesn't bring anything new again it only bug fixes, nothing special so I can't really show you anything like exciting on the phone uh, but I'm gonna show you the build for desktops which has some pretty damn good improvements some will like, some will not but well it's there I'm using a virtual machine uh, as you can see I'm using a virtual machine because I want to show you the differences uh, the first difference uh, or modification is on the notification center which uh, it's a bit different and they, they brought to us as well in the no notification center and in the start menu the new blurriness from the neon design uh, which we can see clearly here as you can see on the notification center it changed a bit and here at the bottom the notification center I kind of went bigger if i show you the normal build let me open this one and from creators update this is creators update on the right and this is the new build we can see clearly the difference look here at the transparency on the right it can see very much the transparency while in the new build the transparency is not so visible because it uses uh, it's not transparency it's this new blurriness from uh, neon uh, which i like this new uh, blurriness transparency whatever they call it but as you can see the notifications they are a bit different uh, here they, the notifications they will appear only like appear 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 but here every notification is in a different square so if I want let's go back to this one so if I want to close I can clear them all or I can close like one by one another improvement or not maybe it's not an improvement it's an addition on this build maybe it's an addition from previous builds but I never saw it so for example let's just go opera type something on the store and I'm gonna download Netflix doesn't matter at this point I'm gonna download install Netflix and if I open the notification center it will appear here you see it appears here that I'm downloading something from the store it says downloading downloading and let's see if it will change as well you see it went to 90% as well here and then it says installed this one was pretty fast let's go maybe another one let's go messenger uh, I can't install messenger let's go Facebook install again appears on the notification center downloading downloading uh, okay go 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 I want to see if it will uh, show the progress bar it should show but uh, let's see yeah it shows the progress bar as well which is very cool it's if you open the start menu it also shows here of course I think this was always showing but on the notification center I never saw showing that you're installing something from the store and showing as well the progress I never saw it but it's here and it's I think it's a pretty cool welcomed feature I like it uh, and yeah as you can see every not new notification is in a different square and you have here notification visualizer store it's so it says from what those notifications are this is from notification visualizer this this is from the store so if I close store it will close all those uh, notifications so it's pretty close because I can close one by one or I can close both notifications from this one which I think again pretty cool a new feature another uh, improvement it's in the Microsoft Edge uh, you can pin now um, websites let's go youtube.com and if you come here it says pin to pin this page to taskbar and it pinned here at the bottom and as, as well shows you the icon which i think it's pretty cool another uh, improvement on this uh, microsoft edge is you have this icon now which this icons goes like full screen i press now f11 goes to full screen but some people doesn't know about that so they added this icon here which uh, again it's a cool uh, addition and the most weighted feature on this build there was some reports that Microsoft will gonna port the the keyboard from mobile to desktops and they actually did it in this build so if I come here at the bottom it brings the, this keyboard I don't know where's the old keyboard oh this is the old keyboard yeah this is the old keyboard and this is the mobile keyboard I'm using a desktop uh, my desktop doesn't have a touch screen so I can't really touch the fingers on the keyboard and this keyboard then you can uh, put it in uh, left or right left or right yeah let's see if it will work let's open this document text and try to type something I need to open it 
let's say hello how are you so it works it just like on the phone I tried to make the movement with the mouse because I don't like I said I don't have a touch screen but it works it's exactly like on the phone I think they will resize this keyboard for the normal older keyboard like this one so they will bring that keyboard or resize it like this one on full screen or like this because it doesn't make sense at the moment to have a, such a small keyboard my guess is they will bring this small keyboard to the normal big one like this one uh, which will make more sense but uh, it works very good very welcomed feature and people are also excited about it because there were a lot of, of people who were giving feedback on inside the preview to bring the keyboard from mobile to desktop because the uh, the desktop keyboard this one here it's pretty it's not that good uh, compared to the mobile one now you can share a website with more apps so you can see you can sh share to cortana reminders facebook mail etc etc you can install dropbox or line or more applications from the store that will support the share button and there is the copy link which again i doubt i'm gonna ever use a copy link because i just click on the link ctrl c or even right click and copy at least for me it takes more time to go in the share button and copy link it's good that is there some people will use it some people not i'm go not gonna use it some other people will use it so at least it's good that the option is there it doesn't matter if people use it or not at least the option is there which i really like but anyway this is more or less the new features there are some new features in cortana as well i never really talked about cortana and i don't really like to talk about cortana because i don't really use it but anyway this is the new build the build with the number at the bottom you can see 16215 but anyway thank you guys for watching and let me know if i missed any new feature